Hello, my name is Ashley. I'm the porting manager here at eGold Facts. Thank you for taking a moment to review this video and I hope that it provides you some insight into the porting process. In order to submit a port request, two items are gonna be required. First is a signed letter of authorization or LOA and next is a recent telephone bill copy for the numbers that we're gonna be porting. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fill out a letter of authorization. When we fill out the letter of authorization, you need to have a bill copy pulled up right next to the LOA because all of the information that we need to fill out the letter of authorization is going to be found on the bill copy. First, quantity of fax numbers. Go ahead and list out however many numbers we're going to be submitting to port. Full or partial port. Most of the time, this is going to be a partial port because the numbers that we're porting is not the only service you have with your current carrier. The only time that you have, you're gonna list a four is when the numbers that we're porting are the only numbers that were active with your current carrier. Port from current carrier. Go ahead and locate the name of the carrier that's on the bill copy. I went ahead and listed that here. Customer and username as it appears on the invoice slash customer service record. You're gonna to wanna to locate how the current carrier has your company name listed. I found it down at the bottom. List name here. Service address. You're gonna to wanna to list the physical location of where the fax numbers are being used. If this is different than the billing address, please just make sure that you're listing the service address here. LOA signed by. This is going to be the name of the individual who signed this letter of authorization and who is an authorized user on the account. Please list their name here. Current account number. I was able to locate the account number on the upper right hand corner of the bill copy. So I went ahead and listed it here. Local exchange carrier main billing telephone number. This is going to be an active number that is distinguished by your current carrier as the main billing telephone number. If you don't know what this number is, please reach out to your carrier to find out. Next, go ahead and list out the 10 digit number that we're going to be porting. If you have more than five numbers that we're going to be porting, please go ahead and list them out in a separate spreadsheet like so. Finally, on the notes section of the LOA, you can go ahead and list your preferred port date. We cannot always guarantee that the numbers are gonna be porting on this day, but we'll try our best to accommodate. Finally, please have the authorized user sign this letter of authorization, date it, and email it back to me at porting at goldfax.com. Please also include the copy of the bill as well as the list of numbers if you have one. Again, please send that to porting at goldfax. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And thank you for watching this video.